Hello friends and welcome to Net Graphics. In this tutorial, we are going to draw up this design with the, this plastic shaded text effect. And we are also going to draw up these mint leaves around it. Okay, so let's start drawing up. Firstly, make sure that your smart guides are on. And we are going to do some precise work. So I also prefer turning off the align to pixel grid option. Okay, now pick the rectangle tool and draw an output size rectangle. Change the stroke size to 0 and for the fill color, go to the color panel, open up the HSP option bar, enter 75 for hue, 45 for saturation and keep the brightness at 100. Now go to the appearance panel, select the fill color and now we'll apply an effect to it. In the texture, select texturizer. Select the sandstone texture. Set scaling to 200% and relief to 4. Keep light at top. Okay, with that done, go to the layers panel and lock this layer. Name it BG, BG for background, and create a new layer on which we'll draw a mint leaf. So, name this layer as leaf. Now, pick ellipse tool and draw a 50 by 50 size ellipse. Let's zoom on it and with white arrow select this anchor point, double click on white arrow button to open the move dialog box and here in the vertical column enter minus 17. With this anchor point selected, convert this to corner point like this. Ok now we need this shape as a guide for making a mint leaf. So I have selected it and in the view menu go to the guides and select make guides. Now let's zoom on it and with pen tool I am drawing a smooth leaf outline and mint leaves have some jagged edges so I am drawing like that and then repeat this pattern like this. Here we have half side of leaf ready. We had zero stroke size so we are not able to see it. So let's increase its stroke size. Now we don't need this guide so let's just clear it. Now select this half leaf and go to the reflect tool. Double click here to open its dialog box. With vertical selected make a copy of it. Move it to this side and now let's color it with some bright shade of green. Enter 148 for hue, 100 for saturation and 57 for brightness. Now let's color this side, enter 128 for hue, 68 for saturation and 71 for brightness. Now let's make it look like a leaf. Bring it close and with the pen tool start drawing from this anchor point. Like this and join the segment here. Now select these parts and change the stroke size to 0. Now let's cover up this gap. Pick white arrow, select this anchor point and move it with arrow key like that. Ok, leaf is ready now and select these shapes and group them. Now zoom out and lock this layer and make a new layer. Pick text tool, set the font size to 450 and I am selecting the snap ITC font. You may select any other font of your liking. Here I have my word mint. Let's align it to the center of the artboard. Now with this selected, go to the type menu and create outlines and ungroup it. With all these shapes selected, create a copy of it by pressing ALT key and dragging it down. Alright, now we will fill these individual text shapes with gradient color. So select this T, go to the gradient panel and click to apply the default gradient to it. Now we will set this color. Go to the HSV option bar and set the hue at 70 and 100 for both saturation and brightness. Now set this color 
enter 144 for hue, 100 for saturation and 50 for brightness. Set the angle value at minus 32 degrees and set the slider location at 58%. With this done, we will now add an effect to it. Go to the parents panel, select fill color and go to the effect menu. In artistic, choose plastic wrap. Select 8 as highlight, 12 as detail and 15 as smoothness. And here we have it. Now we will apply this gradient and effect to all other characters with eyedropper tool. Double click eyedropper tool and make sure the appearance option is ticked. Ok now apply this effect to all the characters. So there we have it. But there is a problem with it. If you zoom on it, you will see jagged edges due to the plastic wrap effect applied to it, which is a raster effect and not a vector effect. So to make it look fine smooth vector like shape, here is what we do. Select both T shapes, click again on this T to make it a key object and now let's align the lower T exactly over it. Click horizontal align center and vertical align top. Now the black T is exactly over the green T. And now deselect it once and again select both these shapes and in object menu make clipping mask and now we have a smooth vector looking shape all right i'll perform the same action to other characters and look at this fine shape and now for the final move lock this layer and come to the leaf layer again select this leaf and place it to the brushes panel to make a new brush select the pattern brush and in its options set spacing to 80% set the outer corner to this plain looking leaf keep all other options as such and now we have a new brush here now we don't need this leaf so you may delete it or just hide it now unlock the top layer, pick the brush tool and draw a random path like this. You may add more paths to add more leaves. Now select this path and go to the effect menu. Go to stylize and pick drop shadow effect. Enter 80% opacity, 3 pixels as x offset, 2 pixels as y offset and 2 for the blur value. And here we have our design ready. I hope you like this tutorial. Express your views by hitting like or writing down in comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye for now.